So we've sold 21,000 just over tickets so far and that's an average of about 314 a day although we do get a lot of peaks and troughs so yeah that's how many international visitors and of course we're just in that shoulder season now we're not quite into peak season so that will be even more over the summer. When people come to the museum they're met at the door and asked where they're visiting from. If they say they're visiting from somewhere in New Zealand it's free to go in. If they say they're visiting from another country, then it's a $35 entrance fee for those over the age of 16. We're seeing a lot more interactions with people when they come in the door because now we need to have that individual conversation with each person who comes in and I think that's a real positive for our domestic as well as our international audience. I think probably the trickiest one is when New Zealanders bring their international people with them as a group and some need to pay and some don't and that's something that you know we just manage with those groups as they come through. Te Papa receives $44 million each year from the government but it needs to raise another $30 million annually in order to stay afloat. It, it was a surprise, yes, um, definitely wasn't it? <laughs> We're used to paying tickets to... Yeah. Yeah. So in Canada you pay, yes. pay yes. So it's it's a different way of operating, isn't it? So I saw that it was free for people who lived here and I think that's very valid and us coming in as foreigners, I think it's fair that we pay a fee to see everything. So we're from Perth and I actually thought that was a pretty good idea in yeah. general because um, it's good to, you know, have the locals learn more about their history through a museum. Uh, actually we have been to like the art arts gallery in Auckland and like a small museum uh, around here and uh, I heard that you have to pay if you're from overseas and not from New Zealand but it's also a bit weird probably but it's okay for me to pay for it because it's common in Germany to pay for museums like you get um, you pay less if you're a student or something but um, you still have to pay most of the time so it's kind of common for us so in our own country, I actually live in Washington, D.C., our capital in the U.S., and all the national museums there are free. So I would not expect to pay for the museum, although this is a wonderful museum. Our, uh, I'm from Chicago, and they, each museum has one day a week when it's free. We're watching really closely what our visitor behaviour is and we're tweaking those signs and how we deal with people because obviously this is an experiment so um, we're going to be watching that really closely over the summer and just improving things as we go.